So the petition uh, says that uh, there are 1,435 families that were settled by the first president, Nzejo Mokinyata, in 1977, and they were given a piece of land. And um, the petitioners say that uh, this is the land where they were supposed to be settled. However, the land was taken. Um, of course, they are mentioning the, a big family of the Honorable Wangaine. And uh, they brought this petition to the house. And they are asking that uh, they would like to be resettled on their piece of land. They are able to identify the, the registration number, that is the LR number, and the IR number of the, the plot. And we have just come for a fact-finding mission. We've been able to meet the petitioners. We also met uh, the government officers, that is National Land Commission, also Ministry of Lands officers, uh, and also the, the DCC, among others, who have been able to tell us what is it that they know about, about this. We have gone to the plot, and we have seen that uh, most of the land that they are talking about is in use, for, it's uh, been used for agricultural purposes. And we are in the process of developing the plot, uh, the, the report. We are told that uh, uh, there is an investor who came and they are claiming five acres of the school land. Uh, it's also shocking. I think it's uh, an expected uh, uh, matter that we found. So it's a shock that uh, even a school that uh, was uh, given by uh, the Honorable Angaine himself is also being taken away by a private uh, investor. What we are deliberating on is the title deeds for all the public in, uh, schools that we have. We are also interested in knowing the public lands that are within our constituency. And that's when the story now came up that this school has been targeted. Of course, the value of lands here, Madam Chairman, has gone up very high. One acre should be going for almost like seven million now. So if you carve five acres here, you can see the amount of money that you are going to make. This is a very productive area. The town is expanding, coming this way. So we got with that there's somebody, a Mr. Nganga, who came here on one Saturday. And they were coming to put a, uh, to put a signboard that this land is on sale. And because the original land, which was 12 acres, which the late Angaine had given for development of the school was 12 acres, as I've said. And now it was decided, the committee decided one part will be used for primary school and the other side will be used for the secondary school, but with the shared facilities like the praying cloud. That's why you're seeing the goalposts here. Now, honestly, uh, 12 acres given, five is being carved off, leaving the school with only seven. That's funny, isn't it? Yeah. And these people came on a, on a Saturday. Which government institution works on a Saturday? How did they know that this land belongs to the school or it did not belong to the school? That's why we are saying we must protect the interest of our institutions.